hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing okay so a quick introduction so those that have been with me so far and seen the three previous videos thank you very much um it is a work in progress um and i have got to the final maybe second to last stage of this series so the whole idea of doing the inlays and the silicone moulds was to be able to do a skull a bit similar to my school globe that I did um, a few months back where I'd had a balloon and made a hole and you'd have to get, I'll, I will link it below um, in the description. But I loved how that turned out. So I wanted to do it again. Now I've made an inlay. Now this particular one here um, is already got a bit of resin in it. Um, it was a leftover from a previous project and I'm going to finally complete this. Now we've got the inlay that I made originally um, for this particular one and then I'm going to do a second skull which will then contain this inlay which is the one that I've been trying to do. Now it's not the look that I wanted. Oh, I've come off camera. <laughs> Get in my head. Um... So originally I wanted it to look like this, completely different, um, however I'm a complete failure and it didn't work with my Let's Resin so I had to make another mould. I'm not going to try and make an inlay with this, um, it's expensive, um, silicon is, um, and I can't keep making errors so to do this um, I might have to purchase a different type and not use Let's Resin because if I use the same type it's just going to bind um, and it's going to be a waste again. So, less my babbling, I'm now going to start mixing the resin. I'm going to do the inlay, I'm going to fill it, I'm going to then let it cure and then I'm going to complete it. Um, so this one's going to be like a blue wintry one um, and I'm going to do a Halloween autumn style one here so i am going to do two together um to complete the series um for this week um um it's near the end of september where's this year going it's a two and a half minute nearly three minute introduction so let's go and i'll take you through the next stages using the inlaid and set of balloons so yeah let's go So using the Let's Resin Resin, I do two equal amounts for this mould. Um, I do put in the inlay that I've made and I try and centralise it a little bit more better um, so it's actually quite equal around the edge of it. Um, and I'm going to pour some into that second mould as well. So this is it filled to the silicon inlay. That there, I've just pressed it into the re resin before and this one is due to come out. Now what I have noticed with the length of this video is I'm not going to be able to show you two schools completely complete this one will be done um, on this video and then the next one will be on the next video I'm hoping to get up Thursday for you so that's the whole so instead of using a balloon it worked really really well with the silicon inlay that we made at the beginning um, so that is perfect for doing that particular inlay what I've done then is I have filled it now I didn't get the recording of this I do apologize so it's water with um, mica powder to change the colour and give that shimmery look and I've also added blue and silver glitter. Um, again, um, as this is voice over me, I should have filled the water a little bit more um, to the brim on this. Um, however, I didn't want it to do what it did on the last one and spill over. So I'm using some film. I couldn't find my plastics and I'm going to be using this epoxy glue. So I decided to actually just pour this epoxy glue into a small tub and use a brush to be able, because I didn't want to pour that into the actual school mould. I didn't want to spill any water or anything like that. I wanted to keep it dry around the edge. So what I'm doing is I'm using this brush to be able to then transfer that epoxy glue onto the actual resin 
and then to be able to place then that window film over the top as well. Now what I'm hoping, um, I'm not expecting any effect from this at all, it's just that the smallest bit of plastic I could find that I can cut down to size to be able to seal that water to stop it from them mixing with the resin once it goes on top as well or whatever medium I use to go on the top so this is just making sure that all the edging is sealed and there's no way that resin can seep underneath the film and none of the water can seep out and then there's a mix like that happened on my previous school that I did like this um, I've got a small wipe here um, it's a dry wipe and I'm just going around the edge just to make sure that it's fully dry and that's me pressing it down just to make sure it's secure. Now I did leave it about half an hour before I decided to then go in with the resin. So again I'm using Let's Resin and I decide to add micro powder to this resin to add a bit of colour and just to give it more character the skull once I've finished. Again I've still got the skull um, inlay skull on screen but that will be doing it in my second video um, I've still got a lot of work to do with that and I think this video would have been too long if I tried to show you both of them at the same time so I'll do one at a time so I've used um, a bit of blue mica powder and I do mix it with a iridescent one as well which then gives it that blue purpley colour um, however at one point I did actually think I'd put too much in um, as when it was curing there was quite a few bubbles but it did actually um, self level and the bubbles did actually seep to the top without me adding any heat either so that was actually quite good um, although I was quite nervous at first so the colour of this is absolutely beautiful I love it um, it even cured stunning as well um, and then this particular um, resin as well I didn't want to fill it to the top I just wanted to add layers to it and this is me pouring it on I didn't want to pour too heavy onto that film just in case it broke it but it didn't um, and I poured it at quite a height as well hoping to release some of those bubbles as well but I'm just making sure that I'm scraping as much out as possible and there's no waste on this resin as well there for you but no, I just was hoping that this would work. And from the previous technique that I did with the balloon and the water, this which was this was so much better and so much cleaner, and the water stayed in in place. Now you can, instead of using the epoxy glue, you could use UV resin um, and use the UV light to be able to seal it. Um, but I have not invested any UV resin as of yet. But I thought that this might have been the cheaper option and it worked to dream as well. It did seal really, really well. And obviously with resin and micro powder, it does what it wants to do. But you can see those layers in the skull there as well. Um, and then I was going to top it up then with my jasmineite. Um, so again, changing the colour of it, I wanted either a purpley blue colour for the final layer of jasmineite. Now just bear in mind that jasmineite doesn't always bond or bound to resin, okay? Um, but I've seemed to, it seems to have worked okay. Um, I've not had any issues, so touch wood. <laughs> um, I've not had any issues doing it this way as of yet. Um, so yeah, so this was good. So wanting it like a a bluey purple um just to make sure all the layers are showing um but th the whole idea of this was to get it demolded as quickly as possible um I, I was so excited to see if or what the effect of that little inlay have done with the water and all the mica powder and glitter and i wanted to know if it was doing what i thought it would do um, so what I hope it will do so yeah I'm so so excited about this um, again I would like to say thank you for still being here as well um, if you are watching this please remember to like and subscribe to my video um, and if you've got any comments regarding this then just pop them down in the comments box and I'll get back to you as soon as I can um, so that is then just left for 25 minutes. At one point, I actually thought I might have put too much pigment in, but it did cure really, really well. Um, and it demolded perfectly as well. 
Um, so yeah, although it's probably one of the hardest moulds for me to demold, um, so it's just a matter of just getting it to pop out. At this point, that jesmonite is still warm as well, so it's not fully cooled down. So it's just trying to get it out and not allowing any sweat marks to show. But oh my god, I was so 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 excited at this point to see what that result would have been. Um, this school just. Even with the blue glitter, it looked really well. And look, that's what the inlay was doing. It was making a little pocket for me to then be able to shake. Now, at that point, I can see that I needed to put more water in. Can't do nothing about it at this stage, but definitely a lesson learned just to make sure that I fill it to the top um, and just make sure it's all sealed. But yeah, I was so pleased with how it's turned out. Um, and yeah, I love the layers and I love the water bit in it as well with the mica powder and the glitter. And there is actually some iridescent hearts in there as well. But oh my God, it is stunning. I love the layers. So let me know what you think. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Um, can't wait to do my next one, which will be more autumn themed. But yeah, thank you so much. And I will see you on my next video. Bye bye.